Hey, my name is Sage Murray. Welcome to my channel and the making of video for Spin. Spin is my first music release and also my first music video release. Even though it was the first one, I got a lot of questions about the video or process behind it and exactly how we achieved all those green textures used in the video. <coughs> you see, Spin originally wasn't intended to be a music video. It started as an exhibition piece that I had made with Kelly Liu and Santinaki, who are two amazing Tokyo-based film and image makers. It really was just like a 40 second clip, but when we saw it, we were like, you know, this is actually a little bit too good to let it go and not to turn it into a full length music video. So that's just what we did. Fast forward six months later, I'm back in Tokyo and with Kelly and Aki, I head to Tokyo's Amana Studios to complete the video. <coughs> the whole process is really quite straightforward but when we saw the raw cut we realized oh, that's like really like really clean looking um, and a little bit too clean for our taste and what the music represents with you know on one hand side yes there's like clean futuristic sounds but there's also a certain kind of like grungy grit to it like I call it space grunge um, so that just didn't reflect in the video so we asked ourselves like how can we mess this up a little bit? Which is exactly where this guy comes in. This is a circuit vendor, you call them. And this particular one is called Virtual Noise Enhancer by Static Stramens. I just got this off Etsy. And it's essentially what a guitar pedal would do to a guitar sound. This one does to your video. So you would feed on video here and, um, you know, as you turn these knobs and, you know, flip these switches, your video will be processed and like sent through all these transistors and uh, will be affected and like messed with. And there's sort of like sweet spots that you can find, you know, certain effects. So there's like scrolling, there's distortion, there's all kinds. No transistor is the same, no circuit bender is the same. So it's a very organic analog process to work with. Our setup would go as follows. We would send the raw cut of the video and select clips to into this guy, affect it here, find the settings we were happy with, and then send it back out from here to an old CRT TV, which is these, you know, large back TVs that you probably grew up with, or maybe not. And from there, capture it again, capture the screen of the TV with a camera. So you might be asking yourself, why capture it from the TV when we can just send this one back to the computer? Filming the TV and like filming it up close um, is what gives you that texture. There's actually like space between the pixels and they kind of fade out to the sides and there's so much richness and like, you know, pixels within the pixels and every TV is again different. And then you would capture with a the camera, then layered back on your original footage. So you would use the affected footage in conjunction with what you originally shot. You would fuse them together to create a product that is a hybrid of both worlds. Spin is entirely self-produced and edited, so uh, I'm, you know, beyond happy to be sharing this with everybody. And I just want to thank the amazing team, everybody who worked on this through the different stages. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. The Space Gypsy is out.